Okay, we are back. Okay, uh, you know the drill. Any any unplayable cards? No. Uh, Katarina then, I gotta imagine. The other two are level 4. Yeah, 7,000 to 12,000 to 10,000, yeah. We certainly don't get to play with Katarina all that often. So, Katarina wants a nice aggressive deck. Rakuten wants a nice aggressive deck. Works for me. Take the Rock Hopper Bakai here. Uh, take the Bomber Twins, Rock Hopper. Uh, take the Sand Spinner. Am I gonna take the Wrath of Rider? <coughs> I really don't want a Blade's Edge. Could just take the, the third region. I mean, I don't, I don't hate End God. I mean, it's it's definitely not the greatest card in the world, but like, especially with all the vulnerabilities that we have so far, it looks like this um, Honor Lord is actually going to be um, somewhat useful for us. So, yeah, we pick up the third region here. Uh, it would be interesting the Siphoning Strike if it can't if it didn't come with the Golden Ages. Not a huge fan of Barrier. There's still the pick though, because. Mm, we have interaction though with the Siphoning Strike. Such a good card, like so is Test Glider. This one's this one's pretty close in my opinion. Gonna take the Siphoning Strike. Okay, well these are not great. Take the Chefs and Duelist. Um, does this actually have a chance of going off? How many rolling sounds do we have at the moment? We have one from the Rock Hopper. We also have a Bomber Trends. Uh, it's unlikely. <laughs> unlikely, it looks like. Take the drummer and, um, whatever came with the drummer. Take the Hunter and Weapon Hilt. Take the Screeching Dragon. Take the Swift Ring. We do not have Jobin. I won't lie, I'm kind of tempted to take him just, just to see if we potentially pick up a Jobin as our third champion. And you know, it's never stopped me in the in the past, so... <laughs> Boy, people are, people are going to be mighty upset about me passing over the Screeching Dragon, aren't they? But pretty epic. Come on, have you never watched my stream before? <laughs> uh, we have a certain weakness around here. <laughs> um, get one of my what, rid of one of my only one drops for a um, willing death. I think so. Now watch, we're not going to get Jarvan as our third champion and be like, well, now we kind of have to trade away Jarvan. Because <laughs> Jarvan the third is not exactly a good unit if you don't have a Jarvan the fourth in your deck. So we really were just taking that Jarvan in hopes of getting a, um, another Jarvan. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we actually get to that point. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, we started this day off by losing to two human opponents. One to misplay, I want to, well, that's just get unlucky to start off the day. It is, it is definitely annoying when you curve out as well as we did in our game and it just did not matter. Because, you know, sometimes people just curve out better. Uh, that wasn't even covering out though. That was that literally was just getting unlucky. Uh, oh well. I'm gonna complain till the cows come home or something like that. Are yeah, we really gonna face a bot again for our first match? <laughs> Apparently, all we could beat today is bots. So maybe I should have complained. <laughs> So 
the same bot too. I mean, at least we're not nearly as scared of, it, of this bot as last time. Okay. So, let's keep the mortar and the rear guard. Yeah, perfectly fine, Kurt. We should just be fine here. Reporting in. But I want to attack. I want to attack. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna find a strength in numbers. I have not seen that card in ages. I also admit, and part of the reason might be is like we just don't, um, we don't actually play with Noxus all that often recently. Uh, he does have a mana for Mystics out this turn, so that's nice. Um, so on one hand, we could play the War South so we get Siphoning Strike Ezra next turn. On the other hand, it kind of gets shut down by uh, Mystic Shot. Which he's likely to have, so let's just go and play the motto and, you know, hope the AI is a user idiot and just blocks it as well. Um, I probably want to save mana for stopping yourself here. Thank you, AI. Okay, well now that we don't have to worry about Ezreal, we're just gonna play at the wall ourselves. Hmm, hello, Squeech and Dragon. Okay, well thankfully we don't have that many Puff Cups in our deck, so team of hitting us once does not matter. Yeah, those are the best blocks. So... No, the, I was gonna say, team is killing off 4-1, but... No, we just pulled the dragon. Come on, don't be silly. Wow, we really have nothing going on this turn, do we? Um, well, we have 8 mana. So I guess we're just siphoning strike something here. Uh, let's see if he's got something else. Okay. I mean, we were most likely siphoning striking this anyways. I mean, we don't have to worry about any more champions, so like... Now granted, I've only played this bot like one time before like 15 minutes ago, so I don't know the bot too well. But speaking of bots, goodbye bot. <laughs> I'm on it. Well, we're gonna make, play a mighty 3-6 tower for 7 mana. Uh, so silly. Take to the skies, take to the fields, find him. Uh, are, you, are you forcing me to get my 5 2? Well, you're not forcing me because I'm easily winning this game, but I'm still gonna do it. Ah, boo. We might not actually win this game next turn now. <laughs> Right, rude. I have literally never picked the other two options. I have played this card a heck of a lot and I've just never picked the other options. 
I'm sure I could think of situations where I would pick them, but it just has not happened. She dead. Looks dead. Okay, can we, like, win against real humans now? <laughs> I mean, it's got Demacia in the deck. Of course we could win against real humans, right? Javan? Javan? Ah, Javan. We also got to pick it. <laughs> Otherwise, our, our, our Javan pick from the draft <laughs> makes zero sense. Thankfully, there was no pretty epics there to stray my opinion. Like, I have zero clue where okay, we're Javan there. <laughs> I saw Javan, I saw no purple, I'm like, yeah, it's Javan. <laughs> I think it might have came with a merciless hunter, possibly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a snap pick. <laughs> I mean, hopefully there's no bad cards there. I'd, I think they kind of would have stood out a little bit, but... That's what I'm least hoping. Those are no bad cards with that job in. But again, the nice thing about Demacia is there's, there's just so few bad cards. What? Two games in a row? <laughs> I, 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 I actually missed that, that last one where we actually had quick ma quick cues. Are we really going to face the... <laughs> Is this the time event just going to be nothing but me beating up on bots? <laughs> Let's hope I at least beat up on the bots. <laughs> oh my goodness. Indeed, it is another bot. <laughs> no one's playing the mode, I swear. <laughs> so we got Fear, Zed, and Shen. I've seen this bot before. Is it good? Probably not. <laughs> Is any bot good? Eh, to be honest, a lot of, the seven win bots are pretty good, and the and the Draven zero win bot still scares the living crap out of me. <laughs> that 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 Draven zero win bot is way too freaking good. I guess we're playing Katarina next turn. I mean, he's probably playing something to this wall in sand, so she gets to kill something before going back to my hand. Let the bloodshed begin. And Only fools I'm just gonna let this blade edge go to waste. Save the spell mana we might need it in the future. Certainly not worth pinking him for one. Yeah, but two drops here. Ooh, that's that's uh, not that annoying. <laughs> I am one with the land. Who goes there? Okay, hunter this, and then either bomber turns or rock sands. I should have done rock sands first. Does he really have nothing? I mean, I take it, but... Now I'm starting to think maybe I should have done bomber trends. Would have pushed an extra point of damage, but that's okay. I I, I think the order is still... That's fine. I probably... Honestly, I probably should have expected that, but it's not like I'm going to play around it. But I think that my, I think my ordering was also incorrect. I I should have done the um, lock hopper first and then play the um, most of the center. Okay, we got nothing but barriers going on over there. Eventually he's gonna run out and we're gonna be all good. Still not picking the, any any other option. It's always Vanguard. That is unplayable. Oh, but that is not unplayable. Take to the skies. Take to the fields. Find him. These woods 
Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Maybe eventually we kill this <laughs> this guy. Oh, gal. Oh, well, maybe not. Nature blesses her followers. Oh, dizzy. Okay. Let's play the Vanguard. And we will just lock everything. That doesn't even matter. That we're gonna die. He's got barrier. Doesn't doesn't change that the fact that they're dying. Nature blesses her followers. Um, the only sad thing is, I don't have an open attack with Javin, unfortunately. That's not a big deal though. Uh, do we just play Katarina? The AI is probably dumb enough to just block, so why not? Never play fair. Blood for oh, I cost it pulled it. Totally forgot I was vulnerable. I was expecting the AI to be idiot, come on now. <laughs> That's allowed. Uh, yeah, we should have pulled it though. <laughs> Okay, well, let's try this again. <laughs> Does this deck want anything but barriers? <laughs> How dead are we if the last card's a barrier? <laughs> We're not dead. <laughs> okay. Let the blood check begin. I mean, what he what the heck could he I still have in his head? <laughs> oh my god, we ran out of barriers. <laughs> How many barriers was that? Wasn't he at 11 power? So that was 5 barriers. Uh, just rally a couple of times. Oh, right now I'm starting to think maybe I have too many spells. Okay, well, open attack lethal it looks like. We don't have a single tick towards our job and level up. What the heck is that? Well, that was a game. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know what that was. <laughs> moving on, moving on, moving on. Okay. Um. Well, I'm not taking tracker. I don't want weapon heal to my deck, but <laughs> I don't want tracker my deck. The question is, do we have enough elites that this squire makes sense? And I am thinking, <laughs> absolutely not. We have what the one three. We have the two Javins and the flight. That's it. Yeah, that's that's not nearly enough. I'd rather keep the on guard. I'm not saying I like in guard either. I mean, <laughs> quite honestly, if this was for either one of these, I would gladly take it. I'm actually almost even tempted to take it over the martyr, but I'd still keep the martyr. Okay, three bots in a row. Can we make it happen? <laughs> We're gonna just do, go for the all bot one. <laughs> perfect one. Actually, <laughs> perfect bot ma one. Uh, a what is it? A asterisk? <laughs> 7 0 versus bots. <laughs> Well, we are halfway to facing our third straight pot. <laughs> uh, too much fun. I 
I am always sad when I look at the Discord and I see people passing out pretty epics. <gasps> no bot! <sighs> I demand a refund. This is not what I signed up for. I signed up to face bots. I think I'm kind of playing the dark mode for that. <laughs> okay, uh, what's we, what we got? Caitlyn and Ash, two Caitlyns. Well, I will say the Siphoning Strike looks pretty bad against a fair little deck that might have a lot, a lot of Fast Bites in it. Let's keep the Bomber Trends. That is not a good hand. <laughs> That's at least the start of something. Hopefully this at least gives me a um, playable landmark this time. Oh yeah. We have what, 10 spells in our, in our deck and we have four of them already? We almost have half the spells already. <coughs> Boy, he's actually a lot of fast bites. I'm already kind of questioning is why is he on uh, two Caitlyn's and not two Ashes? Ow. <laughs> this attack sucks. <laughs> Take the sand spinner, obviously. <laughs> what is like a 9% chance of happening or something silly? That's no, even less than that. I forget the exact math. I, I figured it out a while ago. I just completely forgot it. What? <laughs> well, we're gonna beat up. Scoping the area. I mean, we're never getting in on this active at this point in time. Uh, let's just go and play it out. This curse and life is now my penance. Bring me the call of an ice shrouded world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun times, fun times, fun times. Years take, experience gives. I am really questioning why the heck is this two, uh, two um, Caitlyn's, and where the heck did that Redouble Valor come from? Oh my goodness, people, people, people. Do we? Nah, no, we're just gonna save the spell mana. I was trying to figure out this other reason to play this forward too, but like, he doesn't have an attack, an open attack here. Now, there's a decent chance we're gonna have to play this now. Which is apparently the case. <laughs> All the world on one arrow. Wow, this this is not great. Take another five damage here. It looks like. Let us settle this with grace and severity. My opponent's just kind of nutted out on this curve. In the air. <laughs> My opponent really netted out on this curve. So here's an interesting question. Number one, I'm, I'm almost dead for the record. Um. <laughs> Number two, what did that puff cap for the record? Um, 
<laughs> what the heck was this curve? Well, we're probably dead to the puff cap, but this is this be a good um, chance to ch check if this works or not. Okay, so it does does work, except for the minor fact that it doesn't matter because I still can't kill it, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, again... It, it, it has kind of been that way where... The opponent's just, um... Nutting out on the curve. So I, I, don't, I don't have any play here, do I? Because, yeah, I could play this to try to kill it, but... Hey, look, we got a nail in hand. And we're also just still eventually just dying to one of these full puff caps. So I think, like, the only thing that would have maybe saved us, though, was a Javin. And then knowing how much my opponent's nutted out on that curve, he's probably got a fast spot in hand, so... <laughs> Doubtful that even would have saved us. Okay, well, we are going to get rid of one of these supplement results for the Screeching Dragon, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, the, ten, 10 spells, and we do 40% of them. But the reason we lost, though, is definitely not because we do too many spells. The reason we lost, well, possibly was because we do too many spells, but it was also possibly just a, you know, a pun of nut, nutting out on that curve. <laughs> Must be nice. Uh, okay, let's um, keep the honor lord. And that 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 that, that retail of valor really was out of nowhere, wasn't it? It was like nothing but nothing but failed frostbite cards. The one Caitlyn and the one redoubled valor is like <laughs> quite an interesting draft my opponent had. Uh, two, three, I guess. I don't know, we'll figure things out here. <laughs> well... We have Hunter next, and we're just gonna hope he doesn't have a second Sound Poker. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter if he's got a second Sound Poker, the, uh, the Rock Copper Rolling Sands gets it. <laughs> it's like, eh, is it really one of those days? <laughs> is it really one of those days where nothing's going right for us? Uh, Perfection is probably is a pretty good for three drop for him. So that is not the card. Interesting. He had it actually in his hand. I'm gonna pass. Still looking out for what this card was. Ah, it was another sun poker. So he's got at least two more in his deck. Oh, you live. So my opponent's opening hand was two sun pokers and a perfectionist. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> After sock. That's kind of rude. Gonna follow that up with the um, with the um, third sun poker. Oh, okay. Well, I take that at least. So kind of a bit of the same if you ever find that um some book or this is just flat out dying. Which also means it's kinda of tough to play this on defensive turns, isn't it? <laughs> mm, 
Okay, well, I'm actually not too sad about that, to be honest. Not saying it's that bad, just saying I'm not too sad about it. Years take, experience gives. Let me shock they did not attack. Especially when I have a challenger on the field. I'm trying to think if there's any board rights we have to be worried about. I just Pretty sure I can't think of any. Well, certainly glad we play the um, Vanguard first. No going back. Not saying you can very well have another Mystic out for this, but I'm also saying that it's kind of silly to do that right then and there. Okay, if you guys have just have another one. So actually, this actually is a valid question. Do we actually just do this as burn this t this game? It does seem like, yeah, it does seem to be the correct play this time. Yeah, we we're just playing we're just playing um, Crown Guard next turn and attacking again. Yeah, this this game's maybe is not over. I mean, with the with the golden ages for another rally next turn after the attack, though, it's probably still over. Yeah, that does not do anything. Because you are forced to block the three, t you're forced to block the eight eight or die, and then we just open attack again, and should just be game. These are my streets. Okay, we could win against team and players. I was starting to question that for a moment. We have prevailed. Okay, well, we are taking the pretty epic. Not much discussing there. I also won't complain about it too much because I'm pretty sure Katarina's got the lowest master points out of the um, three. So, you know, Mastery Point Gaming. So, even though Demars here is, is a little OP, we, we haven't really been running off the back of Demars here. I mean, yeah, the flight has helped, and the crown guards helped. Maybe I should just retract my statement now. <laughs> Maybe I should just retract that statement. Okay, we got at least two Javins and a center. Okay, we got a perfectly reasonable curve. I think this I think this rolling death is going to be a little. No, actually. Actually, we probably really need to keep the rolling death for the job in. The only problem is, I'm actually curious whether we're going to have a creature big enough to kill all the job in with the rolling death. So having said that, I'm actually going to mulligan it. Because like, unless I top deck a, a, a screech dragon, it does, does not seem likely we're going to have a a creature big enough to kill kill job in. And like having said that, like look, look what I've been top decking. <laughs> So, perhaps, perhaps we should have, um, perhaps we should have kept it. Can't 
I only got a couple options here. Um, is it actually Katarina? <laughs> Looks like it might actually be Katarina. He could single combat it. That's about it at the moment. Yeah, I'm just going to do Katarina. Missed your chance to run. Ooh. I was strong considering the flight here, but now that I do this, actually it doesn't even matter, does it? A single combat still just kills it. Okay. So, yeah, let, back to my thought process then. Is it the flight or is it modder? I think it's flight. There is light left within me. <laughs> They'll never know what killed them. Beauty, peace. Okay, we got Screechy Dragon next turn. Hopefully, I mean, the nice thing is we have the attack sword on turn six, so our Jarvan, assuming he doesn't auto kill our Screechy Dragon, is going to come out before his Jarvan. Long road behind, long road ahead. That's a little annoying, but with three mana, the Screechy Dragon should be living here. Yeah, there's nothing you can have for three mana. Darkness and light. I'm just wondering real quickly, if I had tough, would this would this work? It would, but I don't think it will play around tough, mind you. I was just, I was just kind of thinking out loud. Don't have any warning shots. That's fine. I did realize that was an option after I attacked, but I didn't really mind too much to be honest. Yep, that's his job then. Why did we pass on Screeching Duck? <laughs> Why did we pass on that, um, <laughs> Wooly Death again? <laughs> uh, okay. Options, options. I think it's Vanguard. And like as much as I'd love to play Katarina. Well maybe we play Katarina after attack, but yeah, let, let, let's start Vanguard. I'm uh, I'm hoping we're just able to kill this Dolphin right here. <laughs> That's the hope. Uh, that doesn't get barrier though, so I can use this. Um... Yeah, so I could use this stopping result to try, just try to kill it right now. So now the question is, does he have a another barrier? Because <laughs> if he does, this game is actually going to become, become quite hard. Sun's beneath me and winds uh, no, it's just a barrier. Yeah, just a barrier here. No, a single combat would also do. do. Hmm, that's annoying. Well, let's hope he doesn't be the one. What can I say? 
Okay, thankfully he does not. And now maybe we could just take over the game of Katarina. For the most part, fine. Uh, he doesn't have streamer, so I don't have to worry about the one mana vulnerable card here. So I could pretty safely play Kata before attacking. Uh, plus the minor fact that um, actually I don't have a block. I don't have a way to kill this on attack unless I um, I could not just trade take Kato for it. Do I take four? Do I do that? Do I take four damage just so I could hit him back for a lot more? Honestly, probably. <laughs> okay, so this kills him. So, yeah, let's just go for killing him. Okay, well that was maybe not the best played game, but we got there. Okay, I think I'm definitely leaning towards the strafing strike. Having said that, this and Xenotype's really tempting. Like, have we needed this weapon hilt? I don't think we've played it once, honestly. I mean, I want both of these cards, and I don't particularly want either one of these cards, so it's a bit of a toss-up. I think I think Strafing Strike is the better card, but I think Weapon Hill is the worst card, <laughs> so... Uh, it's, a, it's a bit tough here, honestly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean towards the, um, the Xenotype, though. Cause I, cause I, I think the, I think the Xenotype and Strafing Strike were like pretty close, but I don't think the Weapon Hill and God were that close. I think Weapon Hill is just much worse than it than Ant God. Okay, we got Riven and Garen. This might be a game where I wish we had that <laughs> that um that strafing strike. Do we keep Kato? Seems like it might be too slow, honestly. Also, doesn't seem that particularly powerful with my current hand. So no. We do not. That's a slightly considering keeping that badge bear. Well, we're attacking on even, so that's nice for this job in. If it's made of sand, I can and then me it's kinda doubtful. I was gonna say maybe we could pull whatever gets whatever gets hit by this with Katarina. I mean, I could actually take the two damage, right? I don't think there's any reason to attack into that. Break the ties that bind. Mm-hmm. Not at all annoying. <laughs> Not at all annoying. I mean, it's fine, right? We just play Xenotype here. If Riven attacks, just block, and then the Blade Edge kills it. Yeah, it's completely fine. I'm also wondering if we um, just play Katarina here, Blade Edge it, and then Engard next turn. 
Honestly, I don't hate it. I, I kind of prefer it. Let the bloodshed begin. It's just a he is definitely a lot more aggressive than I would have liked, but that's okay. I wheeled on you over. So we're gonna take the block here. Now we do have a bit of a problem here, and um. It looks like he's going kind of wide, <laughs> so, um, I'm not exactly sure playing end guards as Kill Ribbon is correct here. But then we got the Blade of Exile that's going to be becoming a problem in the future. So yeah, we, we've, got, we've got issues either way, it looks like. Yeah, I'm just gonna head and go ahead and use this. But that that mobilize with a bunch of cheap creatures was definitely not great. And then of course if he's got ruling death, which thankfully did, did not. But there's also still a lot of things that could have gone wrong with that attack. Finally peace. I know we're it just seems like we're kinda Wow, he had, he had a really good mobilize, didn't he? I mean, at least we have a uh, a a um, rated judgment for this, but like this open attack alone is pretty nasty. Yeah, the second ribbon. He's possibly got a one more. Yeah, we look we look pretty far pretty far behind here. Yeah, pretty far behind indeed. Finally, some action. Maybe, maybe keeping Katarina against this deck was just a mistake. Cause I don't think we're catching up now. I mean, I certainly didn't think it was be this aggressive either. But good lord, we just cannot ke keep up. Would you look at this place? Yeah, Katarina, I guess was a mulligan. I guess we need to keep the badge to bear. Yeah, we we just cannot keep up with this aggro. Look at this. Three, six, nine. We are dead to exactly lethal. Uh, we have Wool and Death in the deck though, so we can top deck on out. That is not an out them. Yeah, keeping Katarina against a Noxus deck, not correct. Yeah, another another game where the opponent just had a really good curve ahead. On one hand, it wouldn't have mattered a heck of a lot, to be honest. Like, 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 like I said, I like, I, I shouldn't have kept Katarina, but like, I kind of wonder if he even would have won if he kept the badge bear instead. Still seems like it would have been really tough. Definitely would have been better though. Uh, so I'm not really sure if a one drop that can't block is really better than a four drop, so that was a bit of a question in my opinion. Now here I certainly won't mind facing a bot to try to, you know, <laughs> bounce back from <laughs> that, uh, that, that one-sided beating we just took. It was just like though. 
factories. Let's get a rematch. So, well, at least we know what the stack is now. So, we know not to make that same mistake. And, yeah, that's perfectly reasonable. Can't really ask for a better cope than that. Could ask for my opponent not to have a mobilize in his opening hand, but... <laughs> besides that... Oh, I hope that was mod. I'll show the hunters. You went on a walk? Well, thank you for that Targon draft and it uh, didn't last very long. The young prince will be fine. I'm not even playing this, it's not even attacking. This is open attack. Well, Vivin's gonna have a Blade of Exiles <laughs> on two and three or whatever. That's fun. <laughs> but thank you, for st thank you for coming back, Mizu. I do appreciate it. Remember the fall. That was a minor problem that uh, we really don't have an answer for a, a Riven right now. Especially knowing that the Riven has the um, Blade of Exile in hand. So this is this is this is gonna seem like another tough one to win. That's fine. Going on curve here is also kind of bad. There's a lot of things that are just flat out bad for us. Let's be real. Hey, there's the mobilize. They appeared out of nowhere. I mean, on one hand, I want to do this. On the other hand, I want to do it with Rakuten, so the um, it could potentially kill the. Um, yeah, I think we need to do a Fakuten, so it could potentially kill the, the Riven. We will not hesitate. Injustice. And uh, let's try passing here, because I'm actually okay if he passes back. I do feel like we are pretty unfavored. Heart and leg both broken. Yeah, so like we said, we know he has the blade of exile here, so a little bad. Okay, so we have to keep the 5-3 um, alive. Giving up both of your units there. That is. Is it really worth killing Rakuten? 
I mean, you get overwhelm damage, and I guess, but God, I think I'd want to keep the screeching dragon around. Yeah, I don't agree with that play. I, I, I think you should have kept the screeching dragon. Can we get away with playing Java in here? Hmm, I'm unsure. Let the bloodshed begin. I don't even think so. I mean, I, I just played against this guy. He doesn't seem like a bad player. I think he just wanted to get rid of Vekatan. Oh, now I kind of wish I played Javin, but <laughs> that's okay. Let us settle this with grace and civility. Only fools have tears. Violence solves everything. So, I don't have any spells in my hand at the moment, but I don't think dealing one damage to does anything. So I'm just gonna ignore this and let it go. Bye bye. It's free damage, but I might need the spell man in the future. That's the difference. That's not at all annoying. <laughs> no going back. Oh, I don't agree with that scout attack. One bit. How dare you? Now, granted, he's still got two cards in hand, so it could definitely pay off for him. But yeah, for no interaction, I definitely do not agree with that scout attack. Honestly, it's not even worth attacking with Katarina. I'd much rather block the 2 2 for the attacks here. Not to mention, if he was holding a willing death here, we kind of need to block the dragon. Maybe, possibly. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. But on the positive side, he doesn't really have an attack this turn, so. Could be worse. How will my people remember me? In formation. Mm, okay. I can get behind that. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Remember, no escape. Step with Steve. Approach, savage. Keep formation. Good draw. I mean, we're never dying from six, right? Also, never kill him at the moment on this open attack, so. Let's have some fun. Heads will roll. Mm, 
yeah, granted, if he draw if he draws fair and that that would kill us. But I'm not really in the mood to be playing around epics, you know? <laughs> but yeah, Farron would kill us. But Farron would probably kill us regardless, so... I yeah. All that is lost, but I will try. That is another great top deck. Not so much for him. The kingdom is secure, my people safe. Okay, so yeah. That 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 was definitely a close game. The the giving of the screeching dragon to kill the Rakuten was probably just incorrect. Hmm. Do we take another siphoning strike? I'll admit it didn't that, that one siphoning strike we had that last game didn't work out too well for us. I'm actually gonna skip the siphoning strike. Misery is probably gonna yell at me for that, but had I mean, I like Siphoning Strike probably a little bit more than I used to, but I still, I still think it has its weaknesses, which you know, kind of got demonstrated that last game. Take Siphoning Strike, yeah, I figured you'd say that. Again, I just. There's just too many counters to Siphoning Strike for my liking, and I would actually rather keep the creature. And I think we have, like, if we were really struggling for interaction, I'd probably be like, yes, we need the Siphoning Strike, but I don't think we're, we're struggling for interaction. And that is quite a good hit starting hand. I don't think better be like top decking a Javan or something. Um, there's a good chance we play this on on turn three over the um, hunter, depending on what he plays, obviously. Take our damage. I mean, having said that, though, we do... I was kind of hoping my drummer would stick around. Why? It's on curve. <laughs> Why am I going to mulligan, uh, mulligan away our, our curve play? I don't I don't agree with that at all. What, what, what am I hoping to draw? Like, look at my look at my next, my next two draws. They were just three drops. I'd much rather play this on turn four than one of these, most likely. Uh, what, what is he again? Leona, Rakuten. How likely is he to have a, like a 3-4 on turn um, 3? Not very likely. That's new. You're provoking it. He could have a 3-6 though. That'd be a little annoying. But it'd only be miss 3 damage, so... I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing. But yeah, it definitely was not a card I was... As originally, uh, pff, that kind of seems like a waste, but looks like he just doesn't have anything going for him. So he's kind of, his hand is probably forced. That is. That's a little unlucky for my opponent. Okay. We have five mana, so uh, uh, mana options are not particularly great here. We could definitely try to merciless hunter, but all he needs is. Wait, no, Leon is not leveled up. Never mind. 
We're just missing time change. Gonna We're gonna be slightly mana efficient, but just give it as Leona while we can. Siphoning? Yeah. I'd rather save it. Ooh. Oh, I will admit we got slightly punished there, but not that big of a deal. So, double three drops it looks like. Now that's annoying. Katarina, you say? Katarina might be the best play, I think. No going back. Now I do kind of wish we did did siphoning strike earlier. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> Sunburst. Oh, siphoning strike of your own. Brutal. That definitely makes this attack uh, just a tad worse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should have played the flight there. Yeah, because I was originally thinking I was going to siphon and strike. Blade does, then siphoning? I don't understand what that would do. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna play the Vanguard here. I just kinda don't wanna waste the siphoning strike on something that's already vulnerable. Okay, at this point, this one damage might actually come in handy, so let's just go and poke face. No mana. Let's kill the 5 4. That's right. Run! We could take this 2 damage. We might as well keep our 4 3 alive. Okay, it's gotta be Vanguard and Hunter here, I'm thinking. So, thanks to the Hunter, the, um... Sorry, not the Hunter, the Flight, the, um, Hunter over here can kill this dragon. 
and we do have lethal at the moment because we have enough we have enough challengers and the um Mata gets through for lethal the soul wears away Mata no longer gets through for lethal I guess we pin her down to one Down to one, but we're out of we're out of gas, so it's gonna be a little tough from this point on. I mean, we at least still have the hunter around, so that's good. Not good game yet. I mean, how are we how are we finishing this? <laughs> this four two's dying here. We just gotta hope he he doesn't have enough creatures. Because, like, right now, all we have going for us is that we're going a slightly wide. But that just might not be good enough. Or even here would be bad for us, so... <laughs> Stand at three cards. We do have lethal at the moment. Watch me. Much too close to my liking. Okay, we're keeping Xenotype. We're probably just taking this Battlecaster. And we have so few one drops though. And I don't feel we actually go wide enough for Battlecaster. Yeah, let's let's skip this. Take the sand spinner here. I mean Hunter's really good too, but Zbikai is kinda awful. Easy top. I'm not sure that was easy top from the last one or easy top now. <laughs> I think these two are pretty close, but we're gonna take the sand spinner. Uh, we're gonna keep the flight. Gonna keep all those. Gonna keep all these. Screeching dragon. Uh, yeah, screeching dragon is definitely a good card, but. Think about it. If we had Screech and Dragon that last game at, over the flight, I don't think we would have won it. Because the flight providing us four bodies for one creature is what won us that game. Uh, this is also a skip. I do think we could have approved this deck. Probably by a lot, but the trades we were being offered just weren't really the it. You really don't agree with every trade? <laughs> well, that is just the difference in playing styles. Yeah, I don't, honestly, I don't think any of the choices are uh, that close, in my opinion. <laughs> Most of them just like, like, easy skips. I, I mean, they, they were so easy skips, I, c I couldn't even tell you what the skips were. <laughs> it was, it was that, that bad. Like when you mentioned like the easy top on that first trade, I'm like, I have no clue what that was because I never even thought about it for a second. <laughs> I 
Yeah, the only one I was uh, uh, struggling with was the was the Hunter and the, and the Bikai. Because I wanted both of those cards. They were both are improvements with, with was with already in our deck. Um, but oh, we just very slowly connected to somebody. Uh, this bot is going to give us problems, isn't it? Like, what's our answer for fluff and tough? What is my answer for a fluff and tough? That scares me. Can we even keep Katarina here? Cause we really need blockers. And Katarina is not a blocker. I mean, uh, on the other hand though, we, we are, it, it is gonna be a rock hopper into Katarina. Okay, I think because I'm I'm keeping the Rock Hopper, I'm going to keep the Katarina. But otherwise, I'd definitely mulligan the Katarina here. And I really didn't want to see the Rolling Death, because I just don't think it does anything. Ah, uh, this... This... This poor bot is... A bunch of... Poros. And a bunch of fluff and tuffs <laughs> at six mana. It's got like four or five um, six mana fluff and tuffs. And they have a bunch of pulls on the field, especially especially when you have pulls like that that you just absolutely need to kill. It becomes a bit of an issue. Anyways, the, the AI the AI likes blocking, right? So like I could probably get them to block something with Katarina. That's what I'm hoping. But yeah, the, it, with the combination of, um, yeah, that guy right there, the Mighty Po, and a bunch of Poes going wide, you, you have to deal with a, like, 2020 hard the fluff at times, and that is quite scary. Never play. I mean, I'm almost tempted just to block that 3-3 right there, right there, because it also has polar snacks in this deck. So yeah, like, I could try to carry out the flight next turn, but if he has a polar snacks, um, it's not going to work out too well for us. Honestly, that might have been one of the few times I should have considered the one drop. Thankfully, no polar snacks. Okay, so we absolutely have to open attack into this 3-3. And that is not particularly great for us either. Today we fight as one. Really? I'm constantly confused with my opponent with the AI's plays at times, but yeah. We just kill this 3-3 that absolutely needs to be killed. And now Han the Fluff next turn is not the not the scariest thing in the world. Especially when I have a rolling death in hand. Also, I just realized we have a Javan in hand with the attack token, so yeah, let's just do this. Stand and defend. The the they are just <laughs> That is the Han of the Fluff. Yeah, that the the AI decks are good. The stake for the AI doesn't play well, so <laughs> it definitely helps us out a lot. Oxy did not know he had this in his in his deck. I don't think I've ever encountered it before. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what's <laughs> what's the story here? <laughs> Cause that's a lot of overwhelm damage. I mean, obviously we could kill the willing death, so we at least have that going for us. 
but like the problem is like we don't even have a good way to deal with this and it also summons another 4-4 we will it the yeah but that does not stop us from taking 5 overwhelm damage <laughs> we we need to keep this job alive I th I think I think we have to give up a Katarina so we can block the 4-4 at the very least I mean, I guess it's a good thing to have a second Katarina in hand. No going back. Without mercy. I mean, can I get away with actually doing this? Like, do I actually need to kill this right now? Hmm. I probably do to be honest, but I I I have I have I have stuff in hand. We be we we be a little greedy and try to keep the Katarina alive. If he's got another one of those, though, we are also if he's got another hot of the fluff, we are dealing with an eight eight. Which is kind of annoying. <laughs> uh. That's there's quite a few annoying cards here. Yeah. So the one positive is if he does not have another one of those big guys, we should just win with the Katarina Valley next turn. The problem is if he's got another one of those big guys, we kind of lose. <laughs> so you know, fun times. Okay, bomb, bomb, bomb's fine. We should win here. Let the bloodshed begin. Actually, do we win right this second? It's not enough, not enough damage at the moment, is it? Well, we have two more attackers though. We also have double rally, but the problem is this 12-8 is killing something here. I mean, it's fine. We, we, we just play our attackers, and then we could rally a couple of times next turn if we need to. This should still just be flat out winning. Yeah, it's completely winning now. Just not enough blockers, thankfully. <laughs> that is scary, though. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a lot closer than I would have liked. Again, if that was a if a human opponent played with that deck, we we would lose nine times out of ten, I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick break, and I will be back. Well, actually, no, I won't take up a quick break. I'm just gonna call it a day. <laughs> Uh, thank you for coming out. I do appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow. <laughs> You're welcome, Zando.